Journal Record editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss the major stories in business this week. Ted, Oklahoma City Stage Center is going to be torn down. What's happening? It is. The uh, property was sold uh, Friday morning for about $4.6 million or so. The new owner says they'll raise the building. They have plans to build an office tower there of uh, better than 20 stories in height. So uh, another dramatic change to the Oklahoma City skyline. Hobby Lobby got a legislative win this week in its battle against the new health care law. Right. They got an injunction, so they are uh, in their favor. So they're off the hook on paying any fines. Uh, they've refused to pay the portion of their uh, employees' health care that would cover certain kinds of birth control. They say that's against their religious beliefs. The court said they should at least have their day in front of a judge to have that decided once and for all without worrying about penalties. One Oak Energy is planning to spin off a branch of its business into its own company. What's going on there? Well, they're spinning off their distribution business. So uh, here in Oklahoma, that's uh, Oklahoma Natural Gas and its counterparts, Kansas Gas and Texas Gas, are going to become a new separate company uh, that's going to be called One Gas. A large number of workers will soon be needed for a pipeline project. This is the Enbridge Pipeline. It's about a $2.6 billion project that will be built uh, through Osage County. Originally, they thought they only needed 200 workers on that. They have now doubled that estimate to 400. Tulsa's Mental Health Association has purchased an apartment complex. What are their plans for the building? Well, we're not sure exactly. They have the money to buy it and to do some rehabilitation work on the units. Um, they say they're going to have both fair market and uh, subsidized housing available there, but we're not sure yet who that's going to be available to. Oklahoma City's distinctive gold dome building is getting a new lease on life. Teamco, an environmental services company now based in Edmond, uh, bought the building a month or so ago. This week they told us about their uh, renovation plans. It includes gold-colored chrome on those famous uh, gold tiles on the roof, so uh, it's going to be shiny once again. We understand some Oklahoma colleges are considering inking a deal with a video game company. Give us the details on that. Electronic Arts, better known as EA, um, is losing its relationship with the NCAA. EA makes most of the college football video games. The colleges get money from those, so both OSU and OU are taking a look at making their own individual deals with the company outside of the NCAA. OSU said even in a bad year they make at least $50,000 from that licensing. And finally, what are you working on for next week? Well, you know, there's a, an official group taking a look at a railroad plan that could bring passenger train service uh, between Oklahoma City and Tulsa, and we're going to take a look at what they're doing uh, early next week. That could be a big story. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thank you. My pleasure.